Hello everyone, my name is Roger Stromkowski and I'm a solutions engineer here at SnapLogic. Uh, today I want to talk to you about using SQL Server CDC and how that could be incorporated into some SnapLogic pipeline. So I want to start by going through kind of the basics. Um, this pipeline here, if I just open this up, this is how I enabled CDC for this demo. Uh, if you're familiar with SQL Server CDC, one thing you'll notice is that I do not have the net changes line in this command. So because this is a small demo, I'm just looking at all changes. And I'll show you where that impacts the query in the final pipeline. Next, I want to talk right here about what our data looks like. So I'm just importing a thousand rows. There's three simple fields. It's a numerical ID, it's an email address, and it's a date, uh, date time. Now, a couple things to note is that, or sorry, really one thing to note is that 25% of my updated fields are going to be null. And so that's part of what I would need CDC for in this scenario. So coming back over to my main pipeline, let me talk a little bit about that scenario. So those three fields, uh, they could be populated by someone in uh, you know, different departments in my company. They could be uh, submitted through an API that I expose to customers. So uh, there's, you know, we, we could just say that the updated field doesn't always get set with the date time uh, correctly. Sometimes it's null. So we want to be able to use CDC to tell when that row was updated last and then take that date and put it into the field all right so we want to make that now we want to do that in flight while the data is over moving into snowflake uh, i also have the option here to write it back to sql server if we so would choose so just opening this up real quick this is where we're going to uh, see the query that we're using to get access to that cdc data now, a couple things to note here. Um, I am naming the field that comes out. I'm naming it CDC updated. So that gives me the timestamp that it's updated. Here's where you can see this is my get all changes instead of get net. So those are a couple things that would differ. And then of course, you'd probably parameterize this query if you were doing multiple tables. Now here I'm routing based on the user updated content of null or not null. And if it is null, it's gonna come down here. And this is where the magic sort of happens. So from CDC, we get data that looks like this, which would include a date string like this. So this expression here is just going to do a few things for us. It's just gonna turn it to a string, replace the T, and then it's gonna substring out the last four characters. That way we get it looking like this, which is more in line with what the other entered data would look like. So again, this might change for you as well. And then we're not passing through any of the columns that come from CDC. So at that point, I could take and copy that data. So that would be all the nulls. And I could write them back into my source if I so choose. If I didn't want to do that, I would just remove this if we were just taking this data and leaving it as is in the source and just moving over to Snowflake. So last step here is to reduce the fields. Again, I don't really want all the extra CDC information. I just want the three fields. Uh, but this time I have every field has uh, an updated value. I have no nulls. And then finally, I would write that into Snowflake. Um, so that's it. That kind of shows you how we get enable uh, CDC from SnapLogic, how we can uh, track those changes, and you know, just one way, one perspective to show how we could start working with it. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a fantastic day.